Alrighty guys, so today we're helping Gabriel place his girlfriend's Vanessa to the test. So this is Gabriel, and as stated, today we're helping him place his girlfriend's Vanessa to an epic loyalty test. Alrighty, we're connected right now onto Michael's camera. You're gonna be able to watch in real time whether she accepts or declines going on a date with Jordan. I'm like worried at the same time. Some part of me says like, nah, she's probably a good person. Like, yeah. she's probably a real one. Like, some yeah. part of me says that. I hope so, man. I hope so. I really, really hope so. Hopefully she is, you know? I'm really praying for like, you know what I'm saying? Not the worst, so I'm yeah. just trying to see what type of person she is. Man. I feel it. So Gabriel wanted to put Vanessa to the test because he caught her using the dating app Tinder on her phone. You caught Vanessa on Tinder on her phone. So she has Tinder on her phone and you guys are in a relationship. Yeah, and I don't get it. Like, I don't know, man. Like, You, you talked to her about like having Tinder on her phone and you've asked her like, yo, what is this? Like, I asked her about it. She said like, oh, I just forgot to delete it. Like, but we've been dating for a while. How can you forget? It's not just any type of game. It's when you meet people. You feel right. me? Like, if y'all know you're exclusive, she knows that you don't have it and she still has it. I don't know, bro. So we hired our friend Jordan to help us with this test. See, Jordan is a jack of all trades and he's recently begun creating art and selling it for thousands of dollars. Despite being pretty successful as is though, today we're gonna jack up his net worth a little bit more. Jordan's gonna be pretending to live in this multi-million dollar home and will also be pretending to be a poker champion. See, it's gonna be Gabriel's job to bring Vanessa to Jordan's supposed home. Vanessa will think that she's simply coming over to hang out with the boys. However, in reality, Gabriel is bringing her here so that Jordan could make a move on her and ask her on a romantic date. So by the time you get back, we're gonna have everything already set up. The cameras are gonna be good. And yes, okay, so just keep in touch with me, okay? So like, text me when you get to her, text me when you're on your way back, and then text me when you're about like five minutes out, okay? okay? That way we're all yeah, yeah, safe yeah. and good, okay? Yeah, all right. Alrighty, man, all right, I will see you right now. So while Gabriel headed out to go pick up Vanessa, we stayed behind to finish setting everything up. Once everything was in place, we then all got into our positions. So we are gonna be moving this car right over there on the side street right there because that's where we're gonna be hiding. And this is where Gabriel's gonna meet us when he makes up his excuse to leave. This is where Gabriel's gonna be able to watch and listen in as Jordan asks Vanessa on a date. So we were also going to be using this test to find out if Vanessa was still actively using Tinder. Yeah, it's a little sus that she has the app on her phone, but she may have just forgotten to delete it. In order to get to the truth, though, we had Gabriel re-download Tinder, log back onto his profile, and sent us a screenshot of his messages with Vanessa. We then took that screenshot, photoshopped it a bit, and made it seem as if Jordan also matched and messaged Vanessa. Now, unfortunately for Jordan, though, we made it seem as if Vanessa left him on red. You guys will see how this all ties in later, but Jordan's basically gonna use this photoshopped image to see if Vanessa is still actively using Tinder. Alrighty guys, so Gabriel just texted me that he is 10 minutes out, so I'm gonna be texting Jordan and telling him to be on the lookout for that knock. At last, after about 25-ish minutes, our patience finally pays off. Gabriel has finally returned with Vanessa, which means that this test is about to begin. Okay, I think this is them guys. Jordan is heading downstairs right now, presumably to go open the door. My dog, what up, bro? What's up, man? Dude, How's long time no see, bro. man. Long time no see. Bro, this is Vanessa, bro. Hi, Vanessa? Nice to meet you. How's it going, good, Jordan? Good. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Okay, guys, yes, this is them. Gabriel has successfully brought Vanessa over. Hey, man, I haven't seen her since, since, since how, how many years has it been? Like three, right? Dude, honestly, I don't even know. Life's been going so fast, like, I don't even know what year it is, dog. Man, I feel it, bro. But. Yeah, but we went to college together. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I just moved in here actually, like. Yeah, he told me that like he, he did it, like he says this is art, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie, art blessed me. I could like, see that. Like, art blessed me, this art money, all of this. The most I've sold a piece for is 50K, you know? Wow. 50K is a lot, but people are selling million dollar pieces, you know? Dude, I'm not gonna lie, bro, like, last month, I made $400,000 in art. 400,000? 400, bro. Okay, remember guys, pretty soon here, Gabriel's gonna be making up his excuse to leave and come join me here. How, I mean, how'd y'all meet? Like, what's y'all's what's y'all's situation, you know? Um, we met through a dating uh, app. I'm sure you know it, Tinder. Um, Tinder, let's go, hey. Tinder's amazing. What do you got in this suitcase, bro? Can I open it? Yeah, we playing some cards, you already know. Cards? What kind of cards? Oh, poker. I've never played poker before. You've never played poker? No, never. It's okay, we'll teach you. You know how to play? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we should have cocktails right now, yeah, but let me pull up Postmates. We can just order like something. What do you, you know, like, it's 
Yeah, yeah, it's okay. What you, yeah, it's okay, bro. Let me like just pull up. Do you want like a cocktail or what? What you like? What are you in the mood for? Like, I just order it. You know what I'm thinking? Like, I could order it. You know, while you you help you help her with the poker. You feel me? Cause she doesn't she doesn't know it. Okay, perfect. Gabriel is making up his excuse to exit the scene and come join me here. Pick up some 1942. Pick up whatever drinks you want, whatever your lovely lady would like. So as his excuse to exit the scene, Gabriel has offered to go grab some drinks as Jordan stays behind with Vanessa to teach her how to play poker. And boom, Gabriel has made up his excuse to leave, which means that he's gonna be joining me here pretty soon. Would it be bad if I asked him to get like some trash bags and some dish soap? Yo, whatever you need to get to your house, man. I I'm, about to, I'm about to send him a whole grocery list. How are you doing? How are you doing? How is everything? Nice. Let me just mic you up really quick if you want to, if you want to just stop. Yeah, go ahead. So, what all do you come? You can come a little closer if you like. So we'll start with we'll just start with the chips. Man, this is a nice car. <laughs> Bro, I ain't never been in a car that where the doors open like that. <laughs> like this is my first time inside a car like that. Wow, dude. How do you like it? This is a wow. That's all I can say, man. The way we'll usually play is the black is 500, the blue is 350. Green 175, red 100, and white is like 50. But for us, we'll have it a little bit less right now. So Jordan begins teaching Vanessa how to play some poker. This is all in an effort to break the ice now that they are finally alone. A lot of people can't hang, they'll fold, you know? Okay. So if you have you another. You gotta risk it to get the biscuit. You gotta risk. Okay. See, look at you, you already okay. know. You gotta, it, you gotta risk it. it to get the biscuit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's really, there's a lot to learn there, but 21 is a little simpler. Like, okay. I can show you blackjack. This one's a little simpler. Show me what we're gonna play. I think we should start with blackjack, cause it is easier, you know? Okay. Jordan now begins teaching Vanessa how to play blackjack. He cautiously calculates when to begin making his move. When he feels the time is right, he decides to strike. I'm not gonna lie, like. What? I really feel like I know you from somewhere. Me? Jordan will begin making his move by bringing up the Tinder message that we photoshopped. Huh. Maybe was it, have you been to like any of my art shows no, or? I have been to an art gallery, no. I can't think of where it is, like maybe a concert. Oh, now I'm curious. It's I know you from somewhere. Really? I know you from somewhere. I don't, I don't know. Oh my God. What? <laughs> what? Okay, so right here, Jordan is about to use a Tinder screenshot that we photoshopped yeah. to see if she's like still using Tinder. Vanessa? Sorry, you're... Yes, my name is Vanessa. What? Okay, now Maybe you're I... Hold on, sorry. Let me, a bit. let me zoom in real quick. Let me zoom in real... Yeah. Okay. You know how y'all met on Tinder? Yeah. I think we met, like... Is that your is that your profile right? No way. That's that's crazy, like So Vanessa's reaction here is rather interesting. After being shown the photoshopped image, she pulled out her phone to check something out. She could just be checking her Instagram or her emails or her text messages, but she could also be checking out her Tinder to cross-reference the messages. She just pulled out her Tinder. She, I, I I'm assuming so. I wasn't crazy. And I messaged, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I messaged you and you didn't even hit me back. Like, I don't, I don't think I see you there. I mean, maybe it got lost. I had a, I had a lot of matches. Wait, time. are you on, are you looking at Tinder right now? Yeah. Really? I can't believe this. That's interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm glad you hit my boy back though. Yeah. It's all good. It's, I mean, I don't blame you, you know, like he, you chose the right guy. I wish I kind of like saw your message before. Like, I wish I could, you know, maybe give this a chance and to see it's, like, you know, where. That's a very small world though. The fact that you're it's honestly like, crazy to me. but you know, I'm not gonna lie. If you would have seen my message, like you'd be waking up here, you know, like. <laughs> I'm sure you saw my message. You're like, eh, I'm good. You know, I swear. but it's. I message, but I really didn't. I didn't see it. I feel like you saw it. No. You I saw didn't. it. I didn't. I swear. I, I honestly would have given you a chance. I think really? you're a really dope guy. You know, you're handsome. You have a good personality, and you know, you seem like you're doing well for yourself. Like, 
So that statement could just be a compliment, but at the same time, it could be a compliment with hidden intentions behind it. Thank you, like, so much. Like, yeah, I'm sure, course. I'm sure Gabriel's a good guy too, you know, like, what's... You know, he's, he's a good guy. Why do you, why do you say like that? Like, you sound kind of... I just feel like I, I want a little bit more, like, I just... Does he not treat you right? I mean, No, it's... he treats me right, don't get me wrong. I just feel like... Because he's a nice guy, like, I, he probably right. cooks you breakfast, like... Yeah, I guess you're right. I just feel like I'm over it, to be honest over it like is he not enough you're saying or like I, I guess yes i guess it's exactly what i'm trying to say bro i feel like crying right now dude this is not good man so what do you want like what is it that you're looking for you're still on tinder you know so you must be looking for something i just want a guy who can you know really treat me like what i think i'm worth Okay, look, it's not a bad thing for an individual to know their worth and want more. The thing is, though, you can't just string someone along until you find something better. In this situation, Vanessa should have had a clear conversation with Gabriel a long time ago about what she wanted. Or better yet, she should have just broken things off rather than stringing him along. I mean, I see, like, I don't know, like, so I mean, you're looking... Don't you want to, like, live a better life, you know? Like, I feel like I mean, everybody I'm... wants to live a better life, you know? Like, seeing where you're at right now, Gabriel's at, I just feel like I wish I really saw your message. I would have said yes for sure. But you don't even know me. <laughs> like you're, I mean, based it's... on like, you know, what I know now, and like we've been, we've been like kicking it for like the past 20 minutes, you know, I just, I feel like we would have hit it off. Oh no, dude. I'm not gonna lie, like next Saturday, I'm going out on one of my boats. I mean, I'd love to take you, you know, like, It'll, this Saturday. It'll just be us though, like just me and you, like okay. maybe like a like a date, you know, like I mean, are y'all together? Like I don't know. I feel like I, I gotta. Like we're together now, but I feel like this could work. I feel bad for Gabriel. Don't you feel? Do you feel bad or like? I mean, all good things must come to an end, right? Again, Vanessa has every right to know her worth and want to better her life, but this right here sounds a little bit cold. Do you feel bad or like? I mean, all good things must come to an end, right? It just sounds like Vanessa is perfectly okay with throwing away her relationship with Gabriel without even second guessing it. Jordan straight up asked her if she felt bad just dumping Gabriel like that, and her response was very cold. You should have just messaged me back. Like that's. I, I it's. Swear I think it's I your fault. It. Cause maybe it was meant to be. You know, like I you could have. You know, I think they brought us together. This is like a stab in the heart up to this point, bro. Just shoot me up to this point, bro. Damn. Nah, man. No, I mean, I don't want to come in between like I the don't two of. In us. No, like, I feel bad. I don't think you should feel bad. I mean, like, it happens. Vanessa could be acting this cold because there's a chance that she was probably already thinking about breaking up with Gabriel. Now that's fair, and she has every right to do so. But if those were her intentions all along, why didn't she break up with him sooner? Why did she feel the need to string him along until she found someone better? I really think I see a future with you and- If we go on a date, you're gonna have to delete Tinder. Like, you know, you can't be with anyone else and you can't like, cause you got options and I got options. Mm -hmm but you can't be exploring your options. So like, will you delete your Tinder? Like- For you? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> yeah! She is deleting Tinder for him! I just find that so crazy cause like, she can't delete it for you? Now this right here was just crazy. Vanessa was willing to delete Tinder for someone who she barely met today, and she was not willing to delete it for someone who she's been in a relationship with. So, so it's to date. All right. To, to date. date. For sure. All right. Let me. Let's play one yeah, more. Let's, let's do. Let's do one more game. Maybe scoot back over there. Like you know. Are you Are you good? Take a minute, man. Take a minute. Take two. What you wanna do? Hit or stay? I really try, dude, you know, like... No, I, f I feel it, man, yeah. You know, it, it, the problem isn't you, dude. The problem is not you. I would even go as far as to say that the problem isn't even Vanessa. Again, it's not a bad thing for her to want to better herself and want more. The problem, though, is that she failed to communicate her wants with Gabriel and strung him along until she found someone better. I'm done, dude. I feel it. So... I'm done, bro. I'm you wanna... I'm, I'm I wanna... I wanna go... I wanna go talk to her. You wanna walk in there and confront her? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Do you need a minute? Nah. 
You good? Not anymore, dude. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore, dude. I'm hated. <laughs> and with that, Gabriel decides to have a conversation with Vanessa. We begin exiting the vehicle and making our way back inside. What a wild ride this video has been. If you guys have enjoyed it so far, please drop a big old like on it and don't forget to share it with your friends. Remember to tell them to grab their talkies though, because you guys already know. This shit's gonna be good. So when we walk in there, yeah, you can feel free to say to her whatever you want to say to her. I can help you explain some things if you want me to help you explain some things. Oh, no, I'm gonna, no, you don't need to say nothing. I'm gonna say something. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say something. You know how to shuffle? Let me Let's try. see what you let got. Me try. Let me try. Yeah, let me let you shuffle. Not the best. Not the best. Wow. Wow. Really, Vanessa? Really? Bro, we've been recording you this whole time. You've been recording me? Yeah. Why? No, no. How could you do this to me? What is going on? You know, I do I do everything for you. And you're gonna do this to me like that? I don't got the money, I know that. I can't get you to this house, but I do I do my best and you see that. First of all, what what's going on with all these cameras? Like what what's happening here? Like I, I don't I'm confused. All these cameras are here to prove whether you are or not. Excuse me. You're gonna go on a date with, with Jordan just because he has a lot of money? No, I wanna go on a date with Jordan because he can provide more than you can provide. Provide him. what? I try to give you everything that I can. And you know that, you know it's rough for me right now, especially like, you know, since the pandemic, everything shut down. You you gotta understand that like money just doesn't grow from trees I like know, that. I understand that, Gabriel. You but you you're... don't though, because you stuck around. And so if you didn't want to waste time with me, why did you waste time? I was time? just waiting for something better. You know what? You could have said that. Er you could have said that earlier. You could have said that earlier. But why didn't you? Okay. So, so Vanessa, so just so you have like full clarity as to like what's happening and everything. So this entire thing was basically all just a test. So Gabriel just wanted to find out if you would be willing to trade him for Jordan. And so this entire conversation that you've been having with Jordan, Gabriel has been listening to it. He watched it live, and yeah. So that's basically what's happening. That's why all the cameras are here and stuff. And you know what's gonna happen. Wow. You know what's gonna happen. You know what? You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad that this was all caught on camera because so now what? you know how I really feel about no, you. No, no. Now I know when you really, you worth really, my time. You, you really did try, but like it's not enough for me. And you know I just need an upgrade in my life. And I feel like that uh, what Jordan presented to me today was that, but. I need more, and you're not giving it to me. If you wanted more, you could have just dumped me in the beginning, but no, you just decided to no, still. Well, I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt and see where it benefit could go. Benefit of the doubt, if like, you had the... like I feel like ever since we started dating, it just went completely to, to nothing. And honestly, like I see now that Jordan has everything I want in a man. No, he doesn't. I'm not, just so you know, I'm on I'm on my boy Gabriel's side. Like, I'm only here for him. Like, yeah, so it was, just... it was a part of the test. Oh, so, so, so you just played. You should have deleted your Tinder for him. Like, for the what? The fact well, that you well, deleted. Why would I delete my Tinder for him? You know what? You weren't even worth my time. I should have listened to my friends. The first thing they told me, I should have listened to them. But I gave, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. I thought you were going to be a real one. But you belong out there in the streets. You're already going to be on the streets with the amount of money you got in your pocket. Now watch. In the next year, you're going to be wishing you was with me. Mm, I don't think so. Watch. I'll be one of the biggest stars ever. Oh yeah? Yeah. It doesn't look like it's going that way, buddy. I'll make you eat your words. You're just gonna be living a life full of regrets, thinking you're gonna, thinking that like, yo, why didn't I make the most out of this guy when he was trying so hard at his lowest? All right, well, fine. I don't want to be with you anyway. You know what's gonna go down? You. Me. Yeah, you're gonna go, go completely down. Yeah, you're gonna have no other date. You might want to get back on Tinder because we we ain't going. Honestly, you know what? I might. I don't need any other. Thank you.